Starting today off at Walmart, because why not? And we were rolling up to Walmart just now, and I like, I went, <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, I forgot my face mask. We gotta go all the way back home. Luckily, Hannah's smart and has like three in her purse, so all is good. Big brain. Traded card collecting card wall is just ripped. Just devastated. Nothing, nothing here. I can't get it open. Mmm. Yum. It is restocking day for our antique mall booths, so hang around. We got lots of IKEA bags full of toys, full of awesomeness to put in our antique mall. Booth's looking good. Here is the main point of today. Gotta get more board games in here. We need more though. I'm gonna make that whole shelf right there board games by the time we're done. Now, let's move on. We're at our second antique mall now. You might wanna give Brass Armadillo a Google wherever you're at. We have two of them here in Phoenix, but there are several of them all over the United States. And it's, uh, of all the antique malls that I've been in, it's definitely my favorite. It's just a really cool place. Both of our locations here are. And I don't just say this because we sell in there. I think it's a really, really great antique mall. So Google it wherever you're at. Let me know in the comments below if you have one near you. I know there's one, isn't there one in like Colorado? Yeah, there's one in Missouri too. There's one in Missouri, which we need to go to. But uh, this one, this one's our newest toy booth. So this is, if you're just new to the channel, if you've just been around for a little while, we just put this toy, toy booth in like, two weeks ago, something like that. number two finally looking packed about a month in or so and for a few weeks it was kind of like half full but I think we're ready to go I think it's good let's move on still got more to do first good will of the day let's go This Google's not been good for video games lately. But look at all those toys over there. Check the games first, then we'll go over there and look. Pretty much they've been non-existent. Yeah, just nothing. A lot of nothing. There's some really cute planters here. Look at this little lion guy. It's really cute for like a kid's bedroom. Aw. She was here last time we were here a couple weeks ago. I have a couple of planters in my booth, but uh, my taste in planters is a little specific, so they sell, but they don't sell quickly. So I either need to uh, do some research on contemporary planters, or um, I just need to, you know, appreciate them from afar. I see Harry Potter. Yeah. Harry Potter puzzle. Nice. I'll take that. 349 can't get enough Harry Potter stuff. It sells really well for us at our antique malls. Check the bag toys. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Lots of trains. There's a lot in there. I need to take a look at that. Ooh, there's more. Those are all big though. I'm looking for the smaller ones. I'm not gonna buy these tracks though, I'll tell you why. 
because I'm swimming in them. There's nothing else in there. If there were some trains in there, I'd get them, but I've got more tracks than I could possibly. Oh, there's some special pieces in here, though. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Not really special enough. I wish, though, however, that all this train stuff was in one big box. To buy a giant tub full of it. I'd be happy to do that. These are beautiful. Green tags are half off right now, too. I might have to consider getting this. They're so cute. They are chonkers. So, $6.49 a piece for the big ones. And then $4.49 for the little ones. Check it. I'll take that, too. I had to run again cart so that we can get these little bad boys home. But look at this guy. I wish his little partner was here. So cute. Let's see. There's a lot to look at here today. I have concluded my shopping, so I'm walking over to find Hannah. I thought she's got a whole cart full of stuff. Hello. You got a whole cart full. Look at those. Those are pretty. Guess how much they're worth. How much? About 200 bucks. <laughs> They're worth 200 bucks. Eh, give or take. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you like these? I mean, they're not as awesome as these yellow things. That's very true. They look too new in there. I have lightsaber. Not Good as job. impressive as those, nope. but. <laughs> I've spotted the Pyrex. Oh, it's so cute. 6.49 is a lot though, but the teal ones are a little more valuable, but this one doesn't have its lid, so. I have to really consider. As much as I like it, I'm probably not gonna get it because $6.49 is a lot. It's a little corning wear. Super dirty. Oh, it's a bummer this doesn't have its lid. I've sold all of the little jars that I've put in that look like that. Dang it, I really wish that this wasn't a water bowl. I actually have a really cute water bowl for pants and mochi. It's a Ray Dunn and it says slurp on the side. It's super cute. Um, but Mochi really needs a food bowl and I'm trying to find her the perfect food bowl because Pants has a really cute one. It's like blue and orange on the inside and it's really sweet, but uh, Mochi really likes it. So I need to get her one so that she likes her food bowl just as much. So it's, it's probably just because she likes to steal Pants' food because he, she secretly wants to have it all. Hannah got flour and tea and salt and sugar jars and <laughs> I got a lightsaber. If that doesn't explain us, I don't know what does. <laughs> True. You want to fight? No. Trying to lightsaber battle? Do you have another one? Nope. <laughs> it just I means your head gets cut off. All right. Final antique mall stop of the day. I got a bag of toys. What do you got? A bag of clothes? Yeah. She got a bag of clothes. So let's get this antique mall done and then we'll go to one more thrift store before we call it quits, all right? Don't go anywhere. Last stop of the day. Here's a Goodwill that uh, we have really easy access to. It's not necessarily the closest to our house, but it's just on the road where we go to Walmart, where we go to everything. It's on the way to and from everything. So you'd think we'd go here more. And used to when we started this channel, uh, we kind of did go here a lot because we always had this theory, and I still believe this, if you just pick a Goodwill and frequent it and are always there and always checking up on when they restock and how they restock, that's a really good thing to do to really maximize your chances of getting something good. But I don't know what it is. 
right after COVID or something, this Goodwill seemed like it wasn't getting much at all, but we need to stop sleeping on it because it could be good. It could be. We found some good stuff here before. All right, dishes section. Spotted some uh, Star Trek cups. We've got a few of these in the dish booth that we literally just left. I don't think we have that one. I don't recognize it. What is that? Interesting. It's Coca-Cola cups, Ninja Turtle cup, some Walking Dead. Eight bucks a piece. Ooh, creepy. Ooh. Scary. Harley Davidson shot glass. I picked those up quite a bit before, but not that style. It was always just like the clear one with the like black logo. Um, they're collectible, but they're not really worth anything. There's a lot of toy stuff here. It's kind of a wreck to be honest with you, but check this out. Furby, Burger King Pokeball. I really need that. And a Power Rangers Morpher. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That's awesome. Found this little arc jar here, which I do really love arc jars. It's missing its little gasket thing, so I'm not gonna get that because um I need to see if I can order any of them because I have one at home that's missing it too, and I really love it. But uh without them, it's not airtight and it's hard to kind of store some stuff. But um it's like this little argyle pattern with country estate pecans on it mm, since it doesn't have its gasket even though it is half off right now I'm not gonna get it I spotted some obscure Tupperware I didn't know this existed but I guess I'm not surprised comment below did anybody have one of these growing up do you have one of these it's actually quite a bit of Tupperware here today um, but it's all a little expensive that's missing like 95% of its pieces there's um, this thing here, missing its lid. This guy, um, I actually opened it up already and it doesn't have the little like steamer tray thing in it. So for $4, that's not worth it. Got this little um, vegetable keeper that is too expensive, but has all its parts. Little microwave keeper that was a little too expensive too. So, we're finding it, but we're not getting it. Checking out the blankets. Hopefully I can find some crochet goodness in here. A little red and white. It's all right. Moving on through. There's quite a few. Ah, SpongeBob! Lol. Um, no. There's a lot going on back here. What's happening? Okay, we're not going over there. There's a mess on the floor. It's a cute little chair. I'm just really into this wicker situation that's happening right now. It's a trend, I like it. I bet you can guess who that is. You're so talented. Do you know how to play the accordion? Um, I know how to pull something apart and together, but no. Let's see if I can play. <laughs> that was busted. Aww. That's busted. All the employees right now are like, who's playing that? Love an accordion. Well, one of my favorite instruments to play. We're home and I think today went pretty good. We're getting in a pretty good routine of going to our antique malls on usually Wednesday and getting them restocked. And uh, I've been trying really hard to get to where we only go to them like once, maybe twice a week instead of running all over town all the time, going to all of them constantly, which is kind of what it took to get those antique mall booths up and running. But now that they're all pretty well stocked and each one is kind of set up to sell kind of a different set of things, this is like really the first couple weeks, last week and this week, where I feel comfortable just going to the once a week, restocking them, and then letting them go for the week. Um, I'm really feeling in the swing of things now. I really am. Uh, but we got all the new stuff in there today 
and uh, Friday is when sales kind of pick up, so that's why we have typically been stocking Wednesday and Thursday, so I'm ready. I'm ready for this weekend. Ready to see if any of that new stuff we put in there sells, uh, particularly the board games. I'm really trying to push board games at one of the antique malls, as I've been talking about pretty regularly on the channel, so uh, I guess you'll have to come back after the weekend. Make sure those notifications are turned on if you're subscribed, uh, so you can know next week how the board games are going for us. But... Let's talk about what we got today, because Hannah got Hannah got the find of the day. Of course she did. Hello. These things are awesome. I'm uh, so excited. So why don't you tell me about them? So these are mid-century modern vintage canisters, and I'm just like stoked the whole set was there. Because a lot of times you'll find them, you'll just find this one. You'll be like, oh, that's kind of cute, but I bet there's three other ones that go with that. But the whole thing was there. Right. And it was half off. I can't believe it. They're so cool. I mean, they're in really good condition, except for like some chipping around the inner trim from like where this gets set back in there, which is totally fine. It's understandable, but they're just really cool. They're humongous. <laughs> they are. I mean, especially these two. It's kind of hard to explain just how big they are. I mean, they're bigger than, I can't even pick them up with one hand. Like this could probably fit two bags of sugar. <laughs> yeah, or a uh, medium sized adult's head. <laughs> <laughs> Dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that was the only thing I found today, but I am so excited. Like, I don't even care that I didn't find anything else. This is perfect. Is that all you got? That's it. I didn't notice. Yeah, I mean, the thing about these canisters is, and you might have noticed in Hannah's uh, dish booth, and with all the dishes we've been reselling, uh, she sold a lot of canister sets. Uh, if you have any way to resell dishes, I don't know that I would suggest you guys start running out to your Goodwills just buying any and every uh, canister set you see, but if you have any antique malls or do anything kind of like that, like we do, this is perfect for those. I don't think I'd want to ship those for nothing. No. It's <laughs> honestly, like, yes, I could sell them on eBay, but like, what even box would I put this in? How do I risk yeah, it's, sending that and not breaking it? Those are just not worth the risk. They're just not. They're, yeah. I mean, they're, I, I could give you some good tips on how to pack it and hope they get there, but not worth the risk. So we probably wouldn't have bought those if it wasn't for our antique malls. And I, I we don't, we, we've talked about how much to sell them for. You can kind of see some comparable listings on eBay. Not a lot of information on the sold side of it, but, uh, we're gonna. We're probably gonna charge a pretty high premium for those. I yeah. mean, it, they're they're very special. They are, and I feel like they're they look simple enough that they could go with a modern kitchen. Some vintage things are like that specific. Yeah. But this one, I feel like it would go with a lot of different styles. Is it Pants Monster? Hello, Pants Monster. <laughs> what are you coming over here meowing for? Here, at least come join us. Come here, my buddy. Ooh. Pants, what do you think about these? You approve? Current. Is he? Yeah. He just wants attention. Do you think you can hold the cat and hold the camera? Mm, we'll try it for okay. a minute. Well, I need to talk about all the stuff that I got. Okay, Pants? So you sit there and you mind the camera also. Um, I, this is kind of strange. I've bought and sold a lot of lightsabers in my time. And these, like, there's... <laughs> lightsabers are complicated, okay? There are super, super, super expensive versions of lightsabers that are all metal and they're almost perfect replicas and then nice light-up blades on them. And then there's all the way down to the cheap plastic ones that are real cheap at the store. And then there's the, you know, you start going back up in quality when you get to the springy ones or, you know, there's just, there's so many. Um, I've never actually come across one of these. Would you like me to take the camera so you can put the cat down? Okay. He's getting wiggly. He is. He's probably gonna come over here and start rubbing on me. He is. <laughs> um, so... I've never come across one of these with the solid light up blade that the blade was blue. I've just never had one. I've never seen it. I just, it's very odd. It's very, especially like, especially with as many lightsabers as I've had and, and resold and stuff. I just, I, for whatever reason, this hasn't showed up at the thrift store for me. So that's pretty cool. But I've been doing okay with lightsabers. I'm trying to do a little bit more. Uh, well before we had this channel. Um, a good year and a half before we even started it, maybe even a little bit longer. We had one antique mall and it's kind of how we got into this before we started making content out of it. I sold a lot of lightsabers there. Um, so glad to have this. Gonna, gonna put that in my antique mall. Um, I should have, we didn't take any stickers with us today, but the last antique mall that we went to, I've already been selling some of these pretty regularly. Uh, so I'll just put that in there for, I don't know, what, what have we been selling these for? 10, 15 bucks? Yeah, 10, Something 12. Like that. Uh, Power Ranger Morpher. I, as you can see here, I collect Power Ranger stuff. And uh, 
I don't think I'm going to put this on here because the Power Ranger stuff I collect, I've been trying to just keep it to the original series. Stop meowing at me. <laughs> he just wants attention. You came into his, his space. <laughs> don't come near me. Um, <laughs> right? I might put it in a toy booth. I might ask and inquire. I might acquire as to whether or not uh, one of my nephews is still super into Power Rangers like he was, or maybe he can take ownership of it but I could leave it there for a dollar that was pretty nuts I thought uh one of the next cool things there's two things in this bag one is a Furby so come on over here let's make sure he doesn't match any of my other Furbies it does not appear that he does very close but not quite Ooh, yeah he's just I think that's actually a completely different generation one but we'll put him on the Furby shelf hello the Power Ranger thing is still making noise come over here we're gonna do one more thing uh Ooh, there's, oh, I swear I didn't think there's anything in there. Okay, are you ready? It, it? it feels like it might be one of these spinners. Oh, oh it's a keychain! Oh. Sweet, so we've got a couple more of these. Do we have the Kangas for Kong one yet? Uh, no, we don't. So that's pretty awesome. I had it when I was growing up. That's why I'm like, I remember that one. Well, the reason I wanted to get one of these, because if I recall correctly, the plushies came in them, right? These little guys. Ah, uh, I think so. I'm pretty sure that's what came in originally. Um, but here's the thing. We did, I'll be honest with you, we didn't do anything for Halloween like we planned on. Uh, like doing some dressing up. We, it's such a good time to make some cool content. But every year, we've had this channel through two Halloweens now. And it kind of rolls around. And last year we did something special. But this year we didn't. But I keep joking I want to make a Ash Ketchum costume. But not necessarily like a super cool awesome one. But like a remake of the one I wore as a childhood. As, in my childhood. I uh, actually used to run around with a red and white trucker hat. With a Sharpie marker the symbol draw, drawn in right and just the blue shirt and jeans my pokedex gloves that i cut the fingers off of and then i always had in, uh this pokedex right here in my pocket wherever i went and then this clipped my belt and i thought it'd be funny to remake that and i want to so maybe next halloween i'll do that but all i but the the one thing that would stop me from going out today and creating it i could literally go thrift all that stuff right now or heck take some of it out of my closet but I didn't have this Pokeball. And they're actually surprisingly difficult to get. Like the toy stores here in town for just a, you know, the plushie. Here's a couple more of them. You know, for the plushie and the ball. I mean, 15, 20 bucks sometimes I've seen them. So, and I just didn't want to pay that for them. I knew if I waited, they'd show up. Um, and they have. So we will go ahead and put this on the Pokemon shelf. Very happy to finally have one. Uh, and the fact that that keychain was in there is a double whammy. So let's talk about the last thing that I got, which is just a bag full of train stuff. This was barely worth it. Five bucks I paid for this bag. And honestly, this is kind of old and broken. And I don't know if I can make it work right. Maybe, maybe I could sell that. Um, this is cool, but it doesn't really fit with the rest of the stuff that I resell Thomas Wise and it's kind of broken. Um, I kind of thought what I've been doing with the very few Thomas and Friends trains that I keep, I think I've been trying to kind of keep just black and blue stuff that's pretty cool. So like I've got this pretty neat shark in this little car and then here's his coal, which I guess is supposed to go behind the main train, right? And then I kind of figured maybe this one would be a nice addition, but it kind of looks goofy and oversized, doesn't it? <laughs> you need like a tiny little animal, like an elephant. Oh yeah, well, let's just throw another shark in there or something. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, or here you go. We can keep Diddy Kong prison. There you go. And this is why it's my train set, because sky's the limit on those. Um, maybe I'll keep that one in my collection. But here's the other thing that I was really eyeballing. So it's a little bit difficult to figure out, okay? But there are two generations of these electric trains. These are electric, they're battery powered, the batteries are dead in it. But you flip a switch. Oh, maybe they're not. Oh, the, okay, these are connected. Let's see if it moves. I'm quite curious if it moves. Well, it's supposed to move on its own. Maybe it's broken, I'll have to see. But, um, the thing about these is you start looking up these electric Thomas and Friends toys and there's a couple of generations of them in the old... And now, listen, hold up a second because 
I'm talking m massive, exp a massive expanse of generations. So there's old die cast ones that are highly collectible to people. So I don't sell as much as those as I sell the middle generation wooden ones because at our antique malls are just easy to find and sell there. These electric ones, however, sometimes these go on eBay for a good amount. So you might want to start checking your bag full of toys at your Goodwills looking for stuff like this that's clearly Thomas the Tank. It's a little bit larger than the wooden stuff. So this is not Thomas branded, but it, you know, if you find a Thomas the Tank that's wooden, it's going to be this size. So you can see it's, it's, it's considerably larger than that. And um, I've been finding that some of this electric stuff from the earlier generation, so specifically looks like this it's this size this form factor some of these pieces can be upwards of 20 to 40 bucks and it's pretty neat so uh i'm gonna see if i can get this working and i'll look it up and see if it's worth a little more maybe we'll sell it on ebay but probably not because this stuff has been going so well at our antique malls i think that's all we got though I've been really happy with the Harry Potter stuff that we've been finding. When I first said, oh, I want to put Harry Potter stuff in this booth, I didn't think it would turn up very quick. But it seems like every day, or every week for the last few weeks, I've bought two or three board games or puzzles. You guys comment below let us know what your favorite thing we brought home today was. I think we're just going to have to go ahead and agree, Hammer. What is it? My vintage canisters. Oh, yeah, those are just beautiful. I, You know, sometimes we bring stuff home and, like, oh, that's going to be fun to play with. Oh, we'll just be excited to put that in a booth. But sometimes we bring stuff home and we're, like, dollar signs. And that's just, it's, and it's so hard to explain, right? Because like some of the stuff I brought home yesterday, I can show you on eBay, right? Like here's how much we value this because here's what you have to pay for it on eBay or here's what it has sold for on eBay. This isn't one of those things. This is just, if you deal in antiques and dishes like we do, and some of you are going to understand this, there are just things that come up that are just individually special. There's no doubt that a mom or a grandmother or, or, or a guy trying to create his dream kitchen or uh, is going to need, what do you call them? The mid-century modern. No, no, not the, no. not the era, but like they're just canisters, canisters, just, yeah. just ingredient canisters. There's got to be a better name. Let's Probably is. Just uh, kitchen canisters, <laughs> right? Because like my grandmother has some. You have some right now. What are you using for yours? I use arc jars, which I actually found one at the thrift today. So, um they're just they're this size honestly i would keep these for my kitchen if your kitchen wasn't like this <laughs> yeah i got a tiny kitchen but i love those art jars so i don't think yeah. i'd be able to give those up <laughs> yeah well i mean look at home and garden magazines you'll see lots of people use creative things for their own kitchen canisters uh but this is something that you're going to sell all the time at an antique mall so very excited to see how that goes i'm kind of mad we can't keep them if we did we'd have to remodel the kitchen all around them because they're yellow and then we just have a yellow house <laughs> <laughs> that's going a little far um actually i think they would fit really well in my decor because i i really like a colorful kitchen um it, we won't show you right now but there's like we've got blue contact paper on our cabinets and then like pink wallpaper on the back it's just a, a lot of bright colors it's super fun well <laughs> If you don't see these canisters show up in our antique mall next week, you're going to know why. She's going to talk herself into keeping them. Thanks for hanging out with us, guy. We, guys, we'd love to know in the comments below what your favorite thing that we brought home from the thrift was. Um, we're just going to both agree on those jars. Also, we do post daily videos here on this channel, so make sure you come back tomorrow and hang out with us then. Uh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. It's going to be fun, though. It's going to probably involve thrifting. Uh, could probably make that promise. It's probably going to involve some kitties. Probably. Some big man. You mad? Say bye, pants. Bye. Peace out, guys. Until tomorrow. <laughs>